How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Prague stock that had a pretty strong day inside of the market being up almost 20%. So I know you guys want to get that update video. You want to be prepared for the rest of this week. So we won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is a technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're going to go on Fintel taking a look at the recent short interest information. The reason why this is important because the short interest does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know what is the buying and as well as the selling behavior like on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Prague. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $2.82, being up 19.49%. On the low, it tested $2.13 and then on the high testing $2.88. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 43.271 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days being at 43.58 million shares. So pretty much the average in overall volume and the good thing about it is we saw a lot of strength in Prague. And also we did see that we had a better market overall on the day as well. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, we can see from the RSI down below, it is right around 44.72. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we are below the 21 day EMA. We also are below the 50 day. But one thing that you have to pay attention to, we are just below the 200 day, which is at 286 and we close at 282. And then as far as 100 day, of course, we have strength above it. But one thing that is very clear, I like when we have price action above the 200 day that puts us back into a bullish trend when we are below the 200 day that's where i talk about downside risk especially if we are below our major moving averages but in this particular scenario we were able to use the 100 day as an area of support we ended up testing two dollars and 13 cents i know it's set at two dollars and 20 it's just off by seven cents but it does show there's some support there buyers stepped in and we ended up also seeing a high of two dollars and 88 cents which puts us above the 200 day so going into tomorrow what do i want to see I want to see Prague make that move to the $3 level. We know this is an area of resistance. This is going to be a psychological area. But if we have a lot of buying pressure coming into the stock, then I'm going to be looking forward to that move above $3 and seeing how well we do at $3.21. If we can pass $3.21, this is where we surpass the 21-day EMA at $3.31 and then see if we can get that potential move going to around $3.50. Of course, we'll be met with a good amount of selling pressure. That is a bullish case scenario. As far as for the bearish case scenario, like I said previously, we did test 213 on the day. So if we were going to pull back even further, then I'd like to see some strength right at the $2 level. If we don't have strength at $2, then this stock can easily pull back where we can get into the 180s. And then of course, on top of that, getting into around the 175 area. And this is where it gets very bearish because that puts us below all of our major moving averages and we're going to be making lower lows. So let's see how Prague performs going into tomorrow. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information for Prague. So for the dark pool short volume ratio, it is at 50.59%. And then for the dark pool short volume being just over 12.47 million shares. Scrolling down further on the page, the short shares availability is at 800,000 updated 44 minutes ago. And then for the short ball fee rate, it is at 44.6 
0%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we could see for the close of December the 2nd, it was at 50.87. And then for the close of December the 3rd, which is the Friday that just passed, it was at 50.59. So what does this tell us? There's a lot of negative market sentiment around Prague stock. A lot of shorts are vested in this play, and it's part of the reasons why you see a lot of volatility. But if you end up having some buying pressure coming into the play and there's a lot of volume, then you can see some moves to the upside like we saw today when it tested around the low $2 range. So continue to keep this play on your watch list and let's jump into the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for Prague. So we could see here on the inflow, it was at 24.61 and then on the outflow, it was at 22.36. When we take a look at the breakdown even further on the large, it was 3 3.13 on the medium it was 16.24 and then on the small it was 5.24 keep in mind these numbers are in the millions when we take a look at the outflow side on the large it was 3.49 on the medium it was 14.53 and then on the small it was 4.34 Four, which contributed overall being an inflow day. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, December the 6th, it being that negative outflow of 365.93. And also on the three trading days prior, we've had outflows as well. When we analyze the numbers even further, Further, we could see for the small scale orders that represents the retail side, we had more buying than we had selling. No surprises there due to the fact it did have that dip getting down to $2.13. Many people buying that up and then bringing the stock up. Now, when we take a look at what happened on the medium, you could see that we had more buying than we had selling. And then when you take a look at the large dough, which tends to represent institutions, we had more selling than we had buying, but not a huge difference whatsoever. Ever. Now, when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it is at 26.59%. So yes, this is up there, but there's no surprise due to the fact there's a lot of traders going in and out of this play. But also do be aware, we had a very strong move. We were able to actually have some momentum above the 200 day, which is around $2.86. Cents. We ended up getting to $2.88. So keeping that in mind for the high of the day going into tomorrow, I'd want to see Prague make that move to get back into the $3 range. But one thing that is very clear, keep an eye on this play because I feel there could be a lot of traders that are going to be showing some interest, especially if we have a strong market like we had today. So now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts, thoughts for Prague, the bullish case scenario. What I want to look for is us having price action above $2.86, which puts it right there at the 200 day. Price action above the 200 day shows that, you know what, we can go in a bullish trend. When we have price action below the 200 day, I'm not that much interested. But of course, in this particular situation, we did have a pullback going to 213, but it showed that there were a lot of buyers who stepped in and brought this stock to where it was able to close at $2.82. So we know $3 is that psychological area. So if we get price action above it going into tomorrow or sometime this week, then that's where I'm going to see even more traders showing some interest, seeing how far we could go. But we do know we have a strong resistance at $3.50. So keep that in mind. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, it does continue to have short squeeze potential. There's a lot of negative market sentiment around the stock. But the key thing is when you have that buying volume coming into the play, start showing up on radars because of the strong price action like we got today, then I feel like Prague can really make some serious moves and why you want to continue to keep an eye on it. Also be aware, last week, a lot of small cap and medium cap stocks were getting slaughtered. And of course, Prague was one of them. We had a strong market and then Prague was able to recover quite well. So keep notes of this. See how the market looks like going into tomorrow. If there's going to be some strength, then there's a higher likelihood that Prague will do well. So this is why you got to make sure you use all these tools in the toolbox to make sure you're successful with your trading and also making sure that you maximize your overall entry. So pay attention to the pre-market, see what it looks like at the open, and then decide what you want to do from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.